Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Tyler, where are we headed to on this one? Yeah, we're heading to Central West Jordan. A lot of great new development going on there, new retail shops and places to eat. Okay, so flying in here, you can see, look at all this open space and all the grass. This is beautiful. Yeah, a lot of open space here. You have a lot of grass right off of this uh, condo here. Nice unobstructed views of the mountain, uh, which the, the sellers absolutely love. Yeah, going around the property, you can see they put a lot of detail into this. And look at all the open space. You don't see that anymore because the developers now, as a developer, they're trying to pack everything in so tight. And so uh, this is kind of before they did that. So they still had all that nice open space, perfect for an HOA, where they maintain all the ground so you don't have to do it. And take a look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, right, absolutely. Tons of space for your kids to play. And then you walk right into a nice open uh, uh, floor plan here and you have a, a, a walkout. Uh, screen door that you can go through. A uh, nice little fireplace heats up the, the entire house within about 10 minutes. And uh, this walk goes right into the kitchen, which is uh, pretty large, and that's one of the, the main selling points that our sellers loved when originally getting into the home. This house was really, uh, the build style was really ahead of its time because everybody right now is kind of building up so lots of open space so everything flows right into everything instead of a box little corners. This is, was uh, very well designed for its time for sure. Right, yeah, absolutely. No one was really doing this around the 2000s, so just a real easy and nice flow when you come into the house. It's coming from the garage straight into the kitchen and you have that nice living area and then straight up to upstairs where you have your bedrooms. Yeah, it looks like they've got a little loft area, which is nice for a little computer area, and then a couple bedrooms, right? Yeah, especially now with everyone working from home, just having that little area where you can set up a desk or have a little reading nook. And then here you have the uh, master bedroom with a nice large uh, ensuite and, and walk-in closet. Yeah, that's perfect. And this is, you know, really light, nice location. You've got those views out those windows. You've got two bedrooms, which is just what you need on this. And take a look at this. There's the other bedroom. Yep. There it is right there, and again, you have, uh, looking out these windows, you have great views of the mountain, and it's gonna be unobstructed. There's not gonna be any more developments blocking your view. And then with this lot being right next to the grass, again, you're not getting anything uh, blocking your view of those mountains there. They're nice, mature trees everywhere you go. And of course, this is part of an HOA, so they have some amenities with it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a great community, and this is about a, a minute and a half walk from your clubhouse, which is gonna include a, a pool, and you'll know, see here in a second, you're gonna have your your workout area and there's a meeting room as well for large events. Yeah, there's a, there's a developer did a really nice job, very classy design, the way they put everything together and pull the clubhouse in and that big wrap around it. And, and so all the amenities are included, of course, in your HOA, right? Right, yep, absolutely. They also include water, uh, you've got your sewage, your trash, and a few other things as well, such as snow removal and of course, keeping up with the grounds. And there's those views of the mountain, great little product. This one's gonna sell, I'm sure, very, very quick. So Rachel, our daybreak specialist, I assume we're going to daybreak, right? We are going to daybreak. We're going to the island today. It's a great little townhome right on the island. So the island is kind of a big deal in daybreak, right? Yes, it's kind of it, a thing. It's the newest neighborhood in what's considered to be lower daybreak. So if you're east of Mountain View Corridor, it's considered lower daybreak. Upper daybreak is the newer villages over there that have a wide variety of things that they offer, but this is one of the last new build areas within Daybreak. So it's really special in that regard because everything else in Lower Daybreak has been built out. And so this is your opportunity to get in a new home without waiting for a new construction time frame. And, and that's kind of a big deal because they waited a long time, but it was one of the premier uh, properties really, and they waited. And so now all of a sudden it's come on and now it's hot. Yes. And this is the only town home currently available on the island, which is special in and of itself. And it's also great because you can look outside and see million dollar houses and you can enjoy your town home and be cozy and not have the million dollar prices, but still be amongst those million dollar homes. Yeah, and stepping on the inside, it's beautiful. It's like a million dollar home. It really is. They have every upgrade in this home between the countertops, cabinets, 
It's a great floor plan. As soon as you walk in the door, it's just nice and open, which everyone is looking for now. Yeah, and you can tell all the stainless steel pilings and, and real clean lines. They did a spectacular job. But they do that. The floor plans out in Daybreak are so wonderful. And of course, you get the premier location. You get all the nice style, but without that big price tag. Exactly. This house even has a little yard in the front. It even has a covered patio in the back. It has the detached two-car garage, but you go through a covered patio area. It has all the amenities of a home that you're looking for, just like you said, without the price tag. Yeah, so nice, nice tasteful touches. The railing is exactly what's going on right now and those walls and all the clean lines and the countertops and everything, very nice. And some of the upgrades that they selected, the subway tile in the shower, the wall treatment in the master bedroom, uh, like you said, the metal railings, all of the things that they selected in here are things that people are looking for in their new homes. Yeah, and Daybreak is still growing. There's so much going on out there. There's all the restaurants and all the, the summer concerts and everything that goes on with the, the community. And to be able to have something like this, which is a nice little property, right in the, in the premier location, is very unique. Exactly, and with it being on the island, you get all the island amenities. You have a private pavilion, there's a big dock, there's private beaches, there's a hammock park, and all of that is included with this home. Yeah, and, it, and it's a special area, it's a special property, and, and there's not a lot of them available, which is really nice. Why do household emergencies always happen at the most inconvenient times? Please pass the potatoes. Seems any heating, plumbing, or electrical breakdowns bound to happen after business hours. Well, that's why Black Diamond experts are always on duty with licensed technicians who can be there in just an hour or two, even on Sundays. Call Black Diamond experts electric, plumbing, heating, and air anytime. And now get $75 off any repair or replacement. I'm trying. Okay, LaDonna, where are we headed to for this one? So we're headed out to Sandy, right between 106th South and 114th. All right, look at this beautiful neighborhood in Sandy and look right in the backyard. You've got that nice school and then they've got a walking trail right behind. It. Right behind it. They even have a gate now leading right to that rock walking trail. And that, that trail goes forever. So if you wanted to go on a bike ride or a run or whatever, right out the back of your house, you can jump on the trail and 